Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you. It's Pastor Maria Murphy here, and this is morning prayer. God bless you today. As you come in, just say hello so we can greet you and the Lord. No matter what time it is, uh, we like to say hello back. Glory to God. Praise God. We are ready to pray. I love getting into uh, the the presence of God. Uh, prayer will do that. And, you know, then you're talking right directly to him, uh, not having to rely on someone else to do it for you, but you do it for yourself. And uh, that's uh, wonderful when we can uh, have a voice in the presence of God and everybody has that available to them. No one is excluded. Everyone can come to the Father and no one is excluded. And we only exclude ourselves. So everyone uh, is included. Hallelujah. Good morning, Donna. God bless you today. Hallelujah. All right. Good morning, Laura. God bless you today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right. Uh, this morning I was thinking about, good morning. Happy Tuesday, Ivan. I was thinking about the word obedience. And uh, obedience is a word that uh, will open the door to blessings. And in my life, I know I can look back and I could say the times that I've seen the most um, blessings in my life has been when I walked in obedience, in full obedience, not partial obedience, but full obedience to God. And there are some verses that support that. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 33, it says, walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. It tells us to obey all that the Lord has told us to do so we can live a long and prosperous life and prolong our days. Oh, goodness. I feels like a skunk behind me so so that we may uh, prosper and prolong our days in the land that we will possess what are the things that god has told us that we would possess this year well it will require full obedience to him amen uh james 122 is clear james 122 says don't merely listen to the word of God and so deceive yourself do what it says do what it says do what the word of God says and then it says whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life but whoever ignores correction leads others astray my goodness whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life but whoever ignores correction, it doesn't just affect you. Your obedience to God affects others in your life. Your disobedience to God affects others. It has an effect on other people in our lives. When we obey God, people are affected. When we obey, disobey God, people are affected. And so that's something to think about. You know, a lot of times we, you know, I think... A lot of times I, I talk about intentional living and uh, setting goals and, and, and dreams. And we talk about prosperity and all of that. And some may be content where they are. Good morning. God bless you, Miss Bishop. Some may be content where they are. They may be content, you know, with what they have for money. They may be content with, if I don't do anything else in my life, I'm happy. I have my nice house. I have my husband or, you know, I'm, I like being single or whatever it is. And so they don't think anymore. Good morning, Lonnie, about taking any more steps. Uh, but that's being real selfish. And that's not how God has called us to live. He's called us to think about other people and 
for me to have more money is for me to be more of a blessing to other people. And so for me to, uh, you know, take that next step and to set goals is so I have, I increase my impact that I can have in the life of others and obedience to God does, uh, does, uh, help us get to that next step and, uh, disobedience and obedience to God does affect not only us, but the other individuals in our lives. Because I may think, oh, well, I don't want to do that. But God says, you know, you need to go ahead and do that. And well, I'm content where I am right now. No, you need to do that. And so, but I'm comfortable. No, you need to do that. And so the longer I delay, there's someone on the other side of my disobedience or my obedience. Someone is going to be affected. And so obedience doesn't just open the door to blessings in my life. It opens the door to blessings in someone else's life because God can use me in that way. And so, um, there's uh, other scriptures on obedience uh, that we can look at. Um, there was one up here. Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. Love that. Jesus, I want Jesus and the father to be like, oh yeah, that's a home I can live in. That's a home I want to be in because I, I, I'm priority there. Uh, they love me and they obey my teaching and there, there won't be friction there. <laughs> there won't be any uh, strife there. There won't be any, any of that there because they obey me. They're not going to do things that are contrary to my word. I, I want to fully obey Deuteronomy 28.1. If you fully obey the Lord your God, and carefully follow all his commands I give you today. The Lord will set you high above all the nations of the earth. <laughs> I love it. We are fully obeying the Lord. Amen. And let's just pray around that today and just surrender ourselves to him, our will, because obedience starts in our will. It's a choice that we make to obey. We have a choice. God created us. Sometimes you wish you were just, he was just like, you know what? No, you're going to do this. <laughs> no choice. Cause sometimes we don't choose the right way and it's just harder for us when we don't. And so I appreciate that he made us with a choice. Amen. And so, uh, we have a choice and that's where obedience starts. It's our will. So we surrender our will to him today. Amen. Father, we love you. We magnify you. We trust in you with all of our hearts. And I know we say that, but sometimes it, it can be difficult to surrender our complete heart to you. But we know that the outcome, whenever we do, is always good. So we thank you for the Holy Spirit, who is the one who reminds us. Holy Spirit, I thank you for those reminders that you give us that, yeah, when you step out in obedience, you'll have the blessing of the Lord upon your life. And so thank you for those reminders and we look for them and we surrender today. We surrender our will to you and we let you know, Father, that whatever it is that you desire for us to do, we want to do it. We want to do it. And, and we may be speaking that by faith because our flesh doesn't want to do it. But we take the authority that we have right now in Jesus' name, even over this thing called flesh, <laughs> our body. We tell our mind, our will, and our emotions, the soul part of us as well, to come into alignment with our spirit being. Because our spirit wants to obey the Lord. Our spirit desires and hungers after God. And so we tell our bodies, this flesh, we tell our souls to come into alignment with our spirit as our spirit aligns with the word of God. And we say that we are fully stepping out to do the next thing that you've called us to do. We take the next step 
Whatever that next step is, we take it right now in Jesus name. We take the next step. We thank you for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit that helps us to do so. We thank you, Father God, that the Holy Spirit is in us. And I thank you that, you know, your plan for us, he already is aware of it. And he's bringing it to our awareness. And as we step out in faith and trusting you, Father God, that your plans are always good. Your plans always lead to success. Your plans always lead to blessing. We thank you, Father, that we can lay aside any hindrance, any distraction, any hesitancy, and we can step out fully obedient to you in faith, knowing that you will meet us at that next step to give us the next step. We thank you, Father. We take your hand and we take the step. We take your hand and we take the step and we do it fully empowered and fully equipped and outfitted by the Holy Spirit in Jesus name, not in ourselves, but in the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Oh, dobro se ne mandre neste lebrando. Ondo robosila ambrande neste lebrando. Nombro stelebrezi na mandrande jedebro soto. Nambrando robosila ambrando robogosha. Le rende shiandra masina androsa. Robo shine mandra masita. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We take the step. Take his hand and take the step. We don't have to do it alone, but we do it in the anointing and in the power of the Holy Spirit today. In the name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Endo robosina man brashtale. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Sweetly and wholly surrendered to you. And we can say what Jesus said when he finished his race. We could say what the apostle Paul said when they finished their race. I have completed what God has assigned me to do. Amen. I declare that daily. I will complete what God has assigned me to do. I will complete it. That means I'm not going out prematurely. That means there's nothing, no sickness, nor disease, nothing can attach itself to my body that will cut my life short. And then I'll stay in obedience to him because it says that I will live long. And it also says if you honor your mother and father, that you'll live a long life on this earth. And so I strive to do that. So I will live a long life on this earth. And then it talks about when we uh, obey the Lord that will live a long life on this earth. And so I know I'll complete my assignment. I'm guaranteed to complete my assignment. I don't have to wonder. I don't have to guess. I can align myself with the word of God and confess that on a daily basis and know that, yeah, I'm completing my assignment. There's nothing that's going to take me out. And then I'm not going to be of those who draw back. It talks about that in the word of God, that I will not be of those who draw back. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to withdraw from the presence of God, from the power of God, from the assignment that he has for my life. I'm not going to withdraw. I'm going to keep walking, take his hand and take the next step. Amen. Are you going to do that as well? Glory to God. Uh, I like it. Job 36, 11. If they obey God and serve him, they live out their lives in peace and prosperity. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Ivan, for sharing that. That is so true. We don't have to just live out our days and be miserable about it. We live out in, when we live in obedience to God, we live our day out in peace and prosperity. Glory to God. Peace and prosperity. Bless the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, goodness. God is so faithful and he is so very good. So very good. Glory to God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord.
Glory to God. Well, thank you for joining me today. Tomorrow we'll be again, uh, we'll be here again, uh, and we'll be praying for those who don't know the Lord. We'll, we're going to continue until the Lord tells us to change directions on Wednesdays. That's the direction we're going to go because there's a lot of lost people out there. There's a lot of people out there who need the Lord, who need uh, him every moment of their lives. I'm so glad that we have him available to us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He is there for us. He's there. And, and, you know, I think sometimes we take advantage of that in small ways. Okay. Here's your 10 minutes, Lord, but he's there 24 seven. Oh, here's your two hours on Sunday. But, you know, and sometimes not even that. He's there 24 seven available to us. And we need to ensure that we maximize our time with him. Amen. We get everything out of our time with him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So join me tomorrow and we'll pray for those who don't know him. I love you all. Have an awesome day in Jesus. Know that his desire is that you live out your days in peace and prosperity. And we do that when we fully obey him. Amen. Hallelujah. Have an awesome day in the Lord. God bless you.